Oh boy, this video, I'm gonna be talking about K-pop. Hi, hello, this is Jules the Human here, and welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Oh God, I sound like Tana Mojo. I've been watching so many of her vids, it's kind of ridiculous. I don't know why, I just love all that tea. Love YouTuber tea. I does anyone want to start beef with me? Cause I'm down. Like we can get some grade A beef going, but whatever. That's not what I'm here to talk to you about. I'm here because I love BTS and I think I'm becoming a BTS stan, like a super fan, like stalker fan. That's what stan means. I don't know if you knew that. And I know, I know people are gonna judge me, but I gotta live my truths. I wanna be honest with y'all. And for the past couple weeks, I've been super into BTS and I don't know why. Well, actually I do know why, but first I wanna kind of explain what K-pop is because not a lot of people know about K-pop. I'm almost certain it's something a lot of people would love, but just nobody gets super exposed to it in America now since the ridiculous, amazing popularity of BTS. Maybe a whole lot more people are going to get into K-pop, but it's basically just Korean pop music. It's just really good music, but in Korean. And they do kind of implement English into it and there's English lyrics sometimes, like kind of split sometimes. But like in college, I really loved K-pop. I was super Super into it but just kind of the female groups because k-pop groups are usually a group of like five seven 14 even Korean boys and girls that age anywhere from like 16 to like 25 or maybe even older I don't know so let's get down to BTS what I really love about them and what really hooked me because again for the past couple weeks I just love <laughs> I just love these good good boys I mean look at look at that how can you not love those guys so they were performing on like Billboard something for some award show, American award show, I don't know. But everybody was talking about it on Twitter and I was like, what the heck is this? What is BTS? I never heard of it before. And they've been a thing for a really long time, but at the time, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, okay, I'll watch this, whatever, let's get into it. And they're, oh my goodness, I could not, I, I was like speechless watching this entire show. First off, they were promoting their new album and they were playing the song Fake Love, which is easily one of my favorite songs now because it's just so good, so catchy, so fun. And again, it's in Korean, but even though it's in a different language, it just is cool and I love it. It doesn't matter what language the music is in, it's good music regardless. I mean, I play in a band that's all Spanish lyrics and half of the time I don't even know what these guys are saying, but it's super fun. I dance and I have a good time and I'm able to enjoy myself even though there's like a language barrier between that. So same thing with K-pop. I'm watching these boys put on the performance of their life and it's so fantastic. The choreography was beautiful, but the American award show, the American cameraman, they kind of just focused on the army portion of BTS. BTS army is just a bunch of people that really stand BTS, that love what they do, appreciate what they do, the music they put out and the hard work they have. And the cameraman just could not stop going back to the fans, getting footage of the fans but I wanted to see the choreography. I was like, why are they cutting away from this? This is so good, this is so amazing. Do you not see what they're doing on stage? Jesus Christ. So that definitely intrigued me. I wanted to know more. I wanted to watch more. I wanted to see the entire routine done in like a single cam. I wanted to just be in it. I just wanted to figure it out, see what they're doing. So that led me down a road that I highly encourage everybody to go down. I just looked up BTS on YouTube and holy crap, there's so many things out there, so much going on, so many videos, music videos, all this stuff. And these guys are so good. I'm a musician, the music part is fantastic, it's catchy, I love it, but the choreography is what really stuck with me. The way that these seven guys manipulate each other on stage and each of them has sort of like a story, all of them are moving in different ways. No person has something that's super out of place. It all kind of works together. That's what really intrigued me. And definitely seeing the DNA choreography, that was fantastic. But fake love is kind of amazing. Who am I kidding? All of the choreography is kind of fantastic. I know, I know you're gonna be like, Jules, you keep saying the same things. We get it, they're good. But I don't think you get it. I don't think you understand how much this has taken over my life. So I just wanted to know more. I wanted to know their names. I wanted to know who does what. I wanted to know each of their voices, their vocal range, who raps, why is this rapping? This is so cool, they're rapping. And they're all dressed fly as fuck. Head to toe in Gucci, looking like some fly motherfuckers. And I could not stop. 
But again, this was like something that I had never seen before. This was kind of revolutionary for me, watching this choreography, because I do see musicians a lot of the time, they kind of weave in and out of choreography. They sing, they stop, they play, whatever, do some choreo with some people, but the main focus is on the lyrics and the vocals and then somebody else dancing or like a group behind them dancing or something like that but these boys were dancing singing doing it all all together making a story out of their bodies i can't say this enough that this is the reason why i really got into bts because of the choreography and the way they portray themselves on stage now i'm sure a bunch of other k-pop groups do it and i'm sure maybe some of them do it better but this was like my first look into k-pop choreography plus the music having good music behind it and them doing a thing and I'm so here for people doing their craft leaving it on stage because I feel that I've been there I love all of that again I just wanted <laughs> I don't know what I want I just wanted to make a video about something I'm really interested in something that is my truth because this definitely is something I love and I have loved for the past couple weeks and I have found some really cool people that share this interest with me and I'm totally Cool. with talking about BTS. I know a little bit about it. I would love to know a lot more about them. I'm trying, please be nice. I don't know everything about them and I just started being a fan. So please don't leave me any hate or anything. I'm really trying, I just want, I respect their craft. I respect what they're doing. Musician to musician to creator to creator. I respect the hell out of these guys. They are doing amazing. Also, I think my favorite is Jungkook because he's like super cool. And he's kind of like that falsetto sort of voice and I really enjoy that because like my favorite band is DGD and Tillian and Kurt and Johnny had that sort of high voice and Jungkook sort of has that high voice too and it's really cool. I love rapping, I love all the stuff, I love everything. But whatever, you get the idea. This is me basically just putting out the fishing line and seeing who loves BTS, who likes K-pop, anything like that. I would love to talk about it with you and you can send me videos, you can share experiences if you've seen any of them live. I definitely want to chat about that. Yeah, leave it in the comments if you love BTS, what's your favorite song, who's your favorite member? And I just want to talk about it because it's super cool and I think I'm done with this video, that's it. I've been Jules the Human and <laughs> I, re <laughs> I really just made a video of me just talking about something I really love. Do y'all like that actually? Maybe I should do that more, just talking about something I'm really enthusiastic about because I love it. I don't know, leave a like, leave a thumbs up if you like this kind of video and I'll, maybe I'll do some more about something else that I really enjoy. Again, I've been Jules the Human. You can follow me on all social media, Jules the Human at J-U-L-E-S the Human on all social media. That's Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. Go follow me in between uploads because I'm just starting to upload YouTube videos again. And if you don't want to miss everything that's going on in my life, because I do a lot of podcasts, you can see Nerdy Things Podcast. If you want some merch, the link's down there in the description. But I do a lot of podcasts. I do a lot of music stuff. Follow me on all social medias. Okay, I've been Jules the Human. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.